All right, guys, got a 2011 Subaru Outback. This is one of these linear Tronic CVT units. And I got a hard code of a P2764 lockup duty cycle solenoid circuit low. Uh, but I'm going to pull this valve body out, get it on the bench, and we'll compare the uh, valve bodies to the this valve body that's in the car to the new one I got. Um, I actually already own the solenoid, but I'll do it again on the bench. And the solenoid, the lockup duty solenoid should be 13 ohms and I'm only getting seven so that's why it's coming up with the circuit low uh, code so we're, we're gonna do is gonna pull this valve body out and we're gonna swap it out with a brand new one and when you do that you actually have to have it relearned and since the valve body is new, it's going to have to be done with a scan tool. Unfortunately, I do not have the capability of doing that. So I wanted to get this done early so we could figure something out, uh, possibly go by your dealership and maybe have one of the techs do it over there. So we're going to start by uh, pan is already down, as you can see. So let's get the filter out. And then we're going to disconnect the solenoids and hopefully this thing is going to drop right out. Alright, so let's get the filter out. And of course, one thing that's very important when working on these is using the correct fluid. This car has uh, very low mileage on it. So we saved the fluid as, it, uh, as we drained it. There is a drain plug in the pan. All right, so let's get this filter out. Okay. All right, so let's start uh, taking this valve body down. I think there's probably about 12, about 12 uh, bolts or so that hold this in. Now the way you can tell here, if you ever have one of these pans down, the bolts that come out to drop the valve body are darker in color than the ones that probably hold the valve body halves together. All right, you know what we gotta do? We gotta disconnect the solenoids. So let's do that. Okay. All right, so this here is gonna probably stay with the car. I'm sorry, with the valve body, and this is the harness. All right, so that's done. Well, let's continue with the bolts. All right, now when we get this valve body down, there's gonna be a couple of feed pipes. And I think this one, there's one of them that's uh, lighter in color, right by the solenoid connector that um, 
I believe has to come out according to the research that I've done. So this should be the last bolt. All right, so let's take this last bolt out, see if this thing will drop down. she comes. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'll get set up on the, uh, let me just get set up on the bench. I'll lay the two valve bodies out we'll, and we'll uh, ohm check that uh, solenoid. Okay, here is one of the tubes here, V-tubes, that you want to make sure stays in. And it looks like that, I thought there were two, honestly, but it looks like there might be only one. I don't know, uh, actually, let me uh, get the camera in my hand, I can give you a better shot, you can actually see the chain, here's the pulleys up here. I think these may vary from year to year. Nine and nine, oh nine and ten may have been one year, uh, and then the unit might have changed this year in two in two thousand eleven because I thought there were actually two feed tubes, but it looks like there is only one. But alrighty, uh, let me get set up, and I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, guys, so we got both valve bodies on the bench. Here's the one out of the car, here's the new one. But real quick, uh, we can just identify these solenoids real quick. Uh, okay, so this one, this big one here is the uh, secondary slash uh, line pressure linear control solenoid. And this little one up here is the forward reverse pressure, linear control. And then we have one down here. This is the TCC on off solenoid. So let's flip these over, take a look at the other side of this valve body. All right, these solenoids, of course, are not sold separately. So if one goes bad, you got to buy the whole valve body. It's roughly about 700. Okay, so now this little one here is the all-wheel drive duty solenoid. This is the lock-up duty solenoid. This is the one that we're actually having a problem with. This one here is primary down solenoid and primary up solenoid. Alright, so let me get set up with the voltmeter and we'll ohm, we'll compare the two ohm wise and we'll see what we have. Alright, so I have the voltmeter set up. I'll actually give you a zoom in on that. I don't know how well you can see it, but I pretty much just have the negative lead to the uh, voltmeter, uh, pretty much just the ground, grounding on the valve body. So let's compare the uh, uh, the lock of duty solenoid. Okay, so it's ground and pin three. So we have about 9.7 ohms. 
Okay, this is the valve body we just took out of the car. And let's compare this to the new valve body. And we have just about 13.9, 14 ohms. So that's what we should have versus the bad one. We have about 9.7. So they want this at least, at least 13 ohms. Now, the thing is this, as I said before, the things change over time. And what you have to do is do some research because I believe in 2009 and 2010, that particular solenoid should be about three to four ohms. So if you have some wrong information and you're checking a, an 11 or 12 car, you just gotta be careful. So just remember that things change and I believe the earlier ones, as I said, 09 and 10, the values may be different. So you just gotta make sure that you have the right information when you're checking these because it can kind of throw you off. All right, so let me zoom in on my voltmeter here. All right, so now we're gonna check the valve body I just took out of the car. And we have 9.7, 9.6. And we're gonna check the one that's gonna be going in the car. Okay, we got 13.8, almost 14 ohms. So that should be the reason why we're getting this hard code because the uh, solenoid is below value. So that would under make me understand the low circuit code. There's a low circuit code and there's a high circuit code. So that's uh, pretty much what our problem is. And again, these solenoids are not sold separately so if you have to do this you have to get the entire valve body and you also have to have it learned via a scan tool all right if you had the transmission out if you had the transmission out and say you had to do some repairs to it to the differential or whatever the case may be and you didn't change the valve body you should be able to drive this and it should adapt itself. But if you're changing the valve body, um, they say that it, this has to be relearned through a scan tool. So I'm gonna get set up back over by the car and we're going to install this new valve body into the car. And I also wanna, I'll give you a shot of, uh, of underneath, you know, the, with the valve body out of the trans. All right, so let me get set up back over under the lift and I'll be right back. All right, here's a quick shot of the uh, trans with the valve body out. You can see the, uh, the pulleys in here. Is, this is actually a chain driven CVT versus a belt. So I just want to give you a shot of this, uh, what it looks like with the valve body out. All right, let's try to hang this valve body, put a couple of bolts in it. Got to make sure we get the manual valve. Just get this into the feed tube all the way. Okay. Let's put one of these in. All right, the manual valve is caught.
All right, so the information that, that I was looking at was slightly different, it's probably from an earlier model. Uh, that's why you gotta just make sure you're uh, looking at the, at the correct one, because it can really throw you off if there's a, especially if the ohm values are off. So all the bolts are in. What I want to do now is just go get my uh, tools. And we're gonna tighten these up, torque them down, uh, connect the solenoids, put the filter on, and I'm gonna let the guys put the uh, pan up and put the fluid back in. So I will be right back. All right, so let's tighten these up here. inch-pound torque wrench. I don't actually know the spec, but I'm doing these to uh, about 90 inch-pounds. I did some research and I couldn't find out what it is, but that's pretty much the average of what I do. Uh, you know, valve bodies too. Okay, so we'll just go over these one more time. Okay. That's good. Now let's plug these solenoids in. Okay, that's snapped in nice. Uh, all right, you know what? I gotta go get the filter, put the filter back in, and then let the guys do the rest. All right, let's put this filter up. You have an O-ring. You have an O-ring here. So just make sure that's uh, still on there. Okay, that went in nice. And we got three bolts that hold the filter in. So, 2011 Subaru Outback with the CVT Linear Tronic transmission. Uh, we had a, uh, a code P2764, uh, a low circuit on the uh, lock of duty solenoid, I believe it was. Uh, so we switched out the valve body with a new one, 
and I'm gonna have the guys put the pan back in. Uh, we got uh, new fluid for this. I would only use the fluid from Subaru. And then we're gonna have to get this thing uh, probably learned. I gotta see, I gotta make some calls. And if anything, we'll have to go drive it over to the dealer to be learned. And that's it. So once again, thanks for uh, watching guys and uh, have a great day.